we've shown you clips of the scholars saying and preaching this call for نماز استقاسه به حضرت زهرا سلام الله تو سال یادت نماز استقاس به حضرت زهراز خلام دارها مثل نماز صبح بعد سر بذاره به سجده صد بار بگه یا مولاتی یا فاطمتو اقیسینی بیمی جان کمکم کن به دادم برس ساچ خرافات از وی سید وی ار نوت انیمیز تو لیمن چی هلی تو در مسیز وی وانت دو بست خودم این دنیا این آخر وانت دو بست فر ایبر بادی We are just presenting the truth. Anybody who dares to step forward and just attempt to justify this kufri prayer of seeking rescue and help from Fatima in sujood over 400 times, he has already lost about even a large portion of Shias, inshallah, if not the majority maybe, in their hearts will have khair and will, will not buy you pathetic excuses and باطل قیاس باطل انالوجیز there is no bigger insult to Fatima than this Salat al-Istiqata bi Zahra alayhi salam there is no bigger so the Shia because they learn their Tawheed from the pure prophetic teachings as explained by the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam they alladhina amanu they are the ones who believe when the Ahlul Bayt Ahlul Bayt Ahlul Bayt Ahlul Bayt loving Ahlul Bayt these people are are the farthest people away from Ahlul Bayt Alhamdulillah Shia have gold when it comes to the Tawheed. Mushriks, polytheists, and oh, it's behind this mask of loving and following Ahl bayt The highest mask are these ugly khurafat. Khurafat, khurafat, khurafat. Salat al-Tawassu bi Sayyid al-Zahra. Lil-Hawaj al-Sahra. Lil-Qaraya al-Mushkila. No ya Abba Bakr, no ya Muawiyah, no ya Ali, no ya Hussein, no ya Jesus. Or this. Khalismiyya wa thalathin marrah indu. Fi hali sujood itgul Allahumma na'am. يا مولاتي السجود على طول يا مولاتي يا فاطمة أغيثيني لا تنسوا الفعض الآن ممكن صوت يوصل إلى هذول النواصب يقولون الثاني قال في السجود بدل يا الله قول يا مولاتي يا فاطمة لا السجود نوع من التواضع للزهراء سلام الله Someone with a deficient intellect would say such a thing and especially pertaining to Tawheed Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen we are the ones with the pure Tawheed الخير جبهتك على التراب مئة مرة أول مرة مئة مرة على الجبهة يا مولاتي يا فاطمة غيثيني بعدين تخلي الخد الأيمن على التراب وهي الشكل تساجد مئة مرة على الخد الأيمن يا مولاتي يا فاطمة غيثيني صار مئة is blasphemy to say this this is disbelief ترجع على الجبهة يا مولاتي يا فاطمة غيثيني صار ثلاث مئة بتروح على الخد الأيسر مئة مرة يا مولاتي يا فاطمة غيثيني صار شكل أربعمية ترجع على الجبهة المرة الأخيرة على الجبهة مية وثلاثين اللي مجموع يصير خمس مية وثلاثين مرة يا مولاتي يا فاطمة أغيثيني وهذه التهمة باطلة ولكل الأمة الإسلامية تستغيث وتتوسل بأهل البيت عليهم الصلاة لا هذا هو فقط توسل توسل هو فقط بفاتك اكسكوز لتجستفي كل هذه الصلاة هذا هو اللايم اكسكوز والبداية من هنا البداية عند قولك يا زهراء يا فاطمة يا فاطمة أغيثين شرك هذا هو كفر مشرك هذا هو هذا هو هذا هو هذا هو شرك that we the Shia have the most purest form of Tawheed on this earth right now. This Sayyid Husseini, Sayyid Ali Husseini, or Sayyid Ali al-Shubayri, is jahil, yani. This is indeed, that's not the difference of praying to the Prophet or praying for the Prophet 
But unfortunately, some, to some people, any answer is a good answer. Do you have an answer to the shubha, to the doubts of the Sunnis, Wahhabis, Salafis? Oh good, I need an answer. Oh good answer. Oh, Maulana answered me. The Sayyid answered it. Alhamdulillah, I can go to sleep now. A truth seeker, he will not be satisfied with this bottle, with this pathetic answer. This Sayyid Husseini, Sayyid Ali Husseini, or Sayyid Ali al he wrote an, uh, he made a post on Facebook. It's very important to answer this. It's, uh, and to make a challenge once we've, uh, we've done that. About, look at this. He put it in the picture there. Maulati, ya Fatima, aghithini. Oh, my mistress Fatima, come to my help. In what? In defense. In defense, Allah Billah. In defense of this, um, despicable, this, there's no other word. What shall I use? Despicable, disgusting, horrendous supplication prayer that is attributed to Fatima alayhi salam. There is no bigger insult to Fatima than this. Salatu al istighatha bi zahra alayhi salam. There is no bigger. Anybody who wants to, you see, anybody who wants to insult Fatima, and they did, is to um, narrate, fabricate, spread these things in her name. Or worse, go the extra mile and defend it. And then look what he wrote. So he says, there have been recent claims by some Nawasib, Nawasib, uh, Nawasib to them in their madhab, Nawasib is anybody who is, uh, who is a Sunni. They have just uh, yani, different degrees of Nawasib. But the, the asal is that anybody who is not a Shia is a Nawasib. Enemy of Ahl bayt Najis, impure. Um, he says, there have been recent claims by some Nawasib that the Shia worship Fatima alayha, due to the istighatha, due to the seeking help that was taught to us by the Imams. Kathab. Oh, Taught to you by the Imams. Where? How is this what the Imam? If the Imams of Ahl Bayt taught this Zandra in Kufr, this itself is an insult. This person is in reality a Nasibi for attributing this, uh, this Kufr to the Imams of Ahl Bayt. He says, unfortunately, due to the lack of English material on the matter, some brothers and sisters answer with emotions instead of knowledge and give incorrect information. Therefore, I have translated. He has translated, alright. I've translated the following below and will add some extra points. Original Arabic link. So, what is this, first of all? Let's open this link. Let's open this link. Aqa'id. What is Aqa'id? Aqa'id is, is an important website. It is basically the Islam Q&A in Arabic. Major, well-known Shia website. So, look. Let's see. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What are the fisalat al-istaghat al al zahra Assalamu alaikum alaikum Arabic one. And here's the answer that he translated. الأخت ريحان المحترمة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته هناك فرق بين السجود لله والاستغاثة في أثناء إيه بالزهرة والسجود للزهرة عليه السلام. فالذي نقوله إن ذلك السجود هو الله هو لله وليس للزهرة عليه السلام. And so on. So what is the translation? Um, he provided translation there. So what is the translation? Okay, it says, it says in the Salat of Istighatha to a Sayyidah Az-Zahra to a Mistress Az-Zahra Salamu Allah Alayha, peace be upon her in that in that prayer it is said that one uh, has to do sujood to Fatima and say Ya Fatima Aghithini hundred times, oh, it's not just hundred times over four hundred times Oh, Fatima, come to my help, rescue me. And the Nawasib, yani the non Shias, the Sunnis, they use this uh, as a tashni'a. Uh, they use this against us uh, uh, to defame us. And they say that, and then a they say that the Zahra, and that we uh, make sujood to say the Zahra, or uh, to the Imams, alayhim uh, salam. وَنَحْنُ نُحَاوِلَ الرَّدْ And we try to answer back to this عَلَى هَذِهِ الشُّبْهَةِ To this shubha, to this doubt مِنْ خِلَالِكُمْ مِنْ خِلَالِكُمْ With your help and uh, with your help and your extra information so that we can answer them back and what shukran So here's the answer The answer السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته It says هناك فرق بين السجود لله والاستغاثة It says there's a difference between sujood for Allah, to Allah, and istighatha. Hmm? There's a difference between sujood to Allah and istighatha. During sujood for Allah, for Fatima, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and making sujood to Fatima. We say regarding sujood for Fatima, the sujood is for Allah. So here they claim, oh, the sujood is actually for Allah, and it's not for Fatima. 
and it has been reported in our books and so on and so forth. So here they claim that oh yeah no actually this sujood this is this is not for Fatima it is for it's for Allah, it's for Allah, which is which is the opposite of what this Abd Abtahi the, the the more consistent Shaitan the other one what did he say? He said no this this sujood is for Fatima. So here they say oh no this sujood is ex uh, actually it's it's for Allah it's not for Fatima. Hey, hey, I, who are they gonna fool? Who are they going to fool? As I mentioned, imagine we have a prayer, or I advocate, or any Sunni, or any, any person who is learned, or any Shaykh, Alim, comes to the people and says, Guys, pray two rakah to Allah, and then go to sujood and say 500 times, 400 times, on your, on your forehead, and then on your cheek, right cheek, left cheek, Ya Mawla, Ya Umar Aghithni, Oh my Master Umar, come to my help. Oh my Master Abu Bakr, come to my help. Oh my Master Ali, Uthman, Muawiyah. Literally in prostration, and you know, brothers and sisters, prostration is when you're the closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at the shayateen who fabricated these narrations. They fabricated things where yani, every army, every layman Muslim knows the closest you have with your Lord, where you have a private conversation with your Lord, is in sujood. You only have, hold a dialogue with your Lord, uh, you only address your Lord, empty your heart to Him, and they have fabricated narrations for that very moment to drag you away. With here and there, some they throw uh, Islamic terminologies. Yeah, it's tawassal, but Allah has mentioned here at the beginning and the end one or two times. So come on, I no problem. Marko mushkila, it's no problem. This is how they fool the masses. This is this is how the gullible, how the weak-minded get satisfied with an answer like this miskin, like this miskin who thinks, oh, mashallah, I found an answer. Let me translate it uh, in English, and then everything is sorted. Nothing is sorted. Wallahi, anybody defending this shirk. And kufr, kufr sariyak, yani clear cut shirk, clear cut kufr, he's just digging his own hole deeper and deeper. You can't succeed. You can't succeed. You make it worse for yourself. It would have been better to just shut up, to say nothing, to ignore it. Sand, a head in the, in, in sand like, like an ostrich. That would have been the best thing. Anybody who dares to defend this, will lie is to our favor. For lies to our favor. That's why we can't wait for them to, to reply to these kind of videos. To justify with whatever, in whatever way or fashion they like. To justify prostration to Fatima, addressing Fatima directly in sujood over 400 times. No matter how you justify this. Ya Mu'ammam, Ya Toban Hat. Wallahi, you are going to shoot in your own soldier. So let's continue with this and finish it. Uh, so, so, so the question was from, from Rayhana from Kuwait. It's about Istighatha, asking aid help through Zahra, salam alayhi. And then, assalamu alaikum. It has been reported in Salat al-Istighatha through Sayyidah Zahra that the person performs procession. I translated this already myself. And then the answer, they say there's a difference between sujood to Allah and Istighatha during sujood through al-Zahra, through al-Zahra. Salam alayhi. And making sujood to al-Zahra, salam alayhi. We say regarding sujood for Zahra, Az Zahra alayha, that sujood is for Allah and is not for Az Zahra. Uh, and it has been reported in our books of Ziyara that we say after every salah that we have prayed after Ziyara of the Imams the following. Oh Allah, verily I have performed salah and ruku sujood to you only, only of whom there is no partner because salah and ruku and sujood cannot be for anyone but you because you are Allah and there is no God but you. Therefore sujood to any, anyone other than Allah is not correct. Yeah, subhanallah. You see this is how they play around with the, with the mind. With the particular weak-minded, gullible people will fall for this excuse. Anybody can see through this. That is a sympathetic answer. But unfortunately, some to some people, any answer is a good answer. Do you have an answer to the shubha, to the doubts of the Sunnis, Wahhabis, Salafis? Oh good, I need an answer. Oh good answer. Oh Maulana answered me, the Sayyid answered, Alhamdulillah, I can go to sleep now. A truth seeker, a person who's really searching for the truth, longing the truth, haq. He will not be satisfied with this battle, with this pathetic answer. What is this? Oh yeah, in our other ziyarat we say that, Oh Allah, all my prayers is for you only, my, my fasting and my zakat. This is, a look, subhanAllah. A statement alone is not true if it is not followed by actions. You can't say, Oh Allah, all my prayers, all my ibadah is for you. And then you invoke, and then the mukhul ibadah. The asl of ibadah, the main form of ibadah, which is, which is, which is, which is dua, you direct it to other than Allah. So your action is falsifying your statement. So of what good is it if they have statements or narrations attributed to the imams, or as, as they say here, or we have 
and it has been reported in our books of ziyarat, any mm, visitations of graves that we say after every salah that we have prayed, after ziyarat of the imams that, oh Allah, verily I perform salah, ruku'ah, sujood, everything for you. This is just a statement. It is not a true statement because the reality, the waqa'ah, contradicts this statement. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask them on the Yawm al Qiyamah, say, well, okay, you made this statement. Is it a true statement? Have you negated this statement? What has negated this statement? Their actions, like this khurafi, shirki, kufri prayer. So what kind of answer is this? The website continues, the website continues saying, as for istighadah or tawassal for az-zahra, then there is no problem in it. And in the Quran is sunnah, it's confirmed. This is where the exalted says, then Adam received some words from his Lord. So he turned to him mercifully, surely he is oft returning. Taif is the nas of the Quran. And the words which are intended are Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan, Hussein. Adam performed tawassal to Allah through their names in which Allah turned. Where is the subhanallah look? Where? In tafsir al-qummi? In your books of Khurafat? So the tafsir books can mention to us that oh, Allah meant uh, that uh, Adam actually made uh, istighfar through uh, Ali, Hassan, Hussein. That's in the Shia books. Hundreds of years, thousand years, hundreds of years written after the Quran. But Allah wasn't as eloquent and couldn't say this. Where is this in the Quran? And if they cite for us narrations that other Quburis use, none of this is authentic. And then what else they bring? And then they bring the Yusuf Shubha that we have answered already. And uh, yeah, this is what they bring. This is the Shubhat. And then now the the comment of this of this Zindiq, look what he says. He says extra points. Mashallah, we get extra points now. So it is shown that this Sajda is not to a zahra but rather only to Allah. The words said in this Sajda are a means of seeking closest to Allah by using Fatima as a wasila. Kathab, liar, liar. Ayatollah Abtah, he said that this is a sujood. This is, you are fully concentrated. You are mentioning, of course, only Fatima. It is for Fatima. He said, it's not for Fatima. And then he says, it's a form of seeking closeness to Allah by using Fatima as a wasila. If that would be true, they would say, oh, Fatima, ask Allah. Oh, even then, even then it would be a horrendous ritual. In sujood, Asking Fatima, oh Fatima, asking this is this is this is this is exactly what other saint worshippers do. But it is worse, it is not that they in sujood say, Oh Fatima, ask uh, uh, ask Allah. It is remember the sirah, remember the phrase, it is a directly addressed to Fatima. So their actions, their tongues expose and belie what they claim. That oh, this is just tawassal. Tawassal is just a pathetic excuse to justify all these khurafat. It's a lame excuse. Then he says, it is similar to how one during sajda as sahu when you forget to do uh, something in prayer, something that is from the uh, rukn of salah, al of salah. It is similar to how one during sajda as sahu mentions the name of the Prophet and says, As-salamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Does this mean that one is worshipping, making sujood to the Prophet? Look at this, look at this jahil, yani. When we in, for example, when we sit in the tashahud and say, Assalamu alayka ayya nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Or when I send salawat on the Prophet during sujood, I send, I am sending prayers to him, on him, not asking him for help. Hey, look, this is indeed, that's not the difference of praying to the Prophet or praying for the Prophet Saying, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad is not praying to the Prophet. It is a prayer for the Prophet. It's like saying, Salam alaikum, Prophet. This is different to going in sujood and asking the Prophet 400 times for help. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Or asking Fatima 400 times for help. So look at the Qiyas, Fashil, Batil. Uh, this is his Qiyas. His false analogy. Qiyas mal Fariq. Absolute Batil Qiyas. And he wanted to bring this, he wanted to act smart, bring a good point that, yeah, well, in, you know, in sujood, when you say salawat on the Prophet, does it mean that I ask the Prophet for something, for help? Does it mean that I make sujood to the Prophet? Of course not. Because the Prophet is not, ad the Prophet is not addressed in a way that you are asking anything from him for, with regards to your needs, your hajat. Nothing. You make dua asking only Allah to send prayers on him. And you know even that he can't hear it. Because the sunnah uh, informs us that it's the malaika who send it to him. And he can't even hear, hear everything. It's only the malaika and it's only the salam. So that's different. 
So it's different. You're praying for him, not to him. Well, but this miskin, he brings this as an example to say, oh, you see, that's the same when we, we ask Fatima for over 400 times for help. 400 times for help. And then he says, so it is shown that the sajda is not to a zahra but rather only to Allah. The words said in the sajda are a means of seeking closeness. A batil already answered. And then it is similar to how one during sajda saho, this is answered. Imam Sadiq, when teaching this istighatha, a'udhu billah. This is what I mentioned in the earlier video as well. They, they attribute this prayer to Imam Sadiq, alayhi salam. That Imam Sadiq, a'udhu billah. Imam Sadiq was one of the great imams of the salaf. The Imam Sadiq, and they believed that Imam Sadiq was some form of zindiq. Who, when it was, when he was among his own Zanadika group, he, he taught these khurafat in shirk and a'udhu billah, he's innocent of this. So he says, Imam Sadiq, when teaching this istirahat, clearly says that this is, this purpose is for Allah to answer one's dua. Therefore, this again shows that Azahra is only used as a wasila, as a means. And if this istirahat was some kind of worship to it, then why would Imam Sadiq mention that its purpose is for getting one's supplication fulfilled by Allah? Of course, a brain that Wahhabi anthropomorph anthropomorphist wouldn't understand that though. And we don't, um, and so on, it goes on. And he, <coughs> no, ya miskin. The reason, first of all, Imam Sadiq is innocent of this kufr and shirk dua. And, and before Imam Sadiq, his Fatima is innocent of it. The reason, Ya Miskin, the Zindiq who fabricated this narration, added the name of Allah here at the beginning or the end and said, and then Allah will inshallah somehow answer you, is because it is, it would be too obvious, the kufr, that even your people would be, it would be unacceptable. So the Zindiq who fabricated it, thought to himself, you know what, let me put somewhere Allah here. Just like in your society, and you're from my country, I'm Iranian, you're Iranian, in our society, nobody says Allah or what? Nobody says Khuda? Of course they do mention God. Of course they say Khuda or Shuk. But for one Khuda, there's 100 Abul Fazl. Ah, you're Abul Fazl. For one Khuda, you're Shuk, you're Fatima, you're Ali, you're Abul Fazl, you're Panjtan. You're Ahl Bayt, you're this, you're that. That's the very definition of the mushrikeen. That the very definition of shirk is that it is tawheed and shirk, truth and falsehood mixed, associating partners with Allah in worship. This is the very definition of shirk. So of course the zindiq, the mushrik who fabricated this narration, he mentioned Allah here and there and said, and yeah, and Allah will answer it. Allah is mentioned at the beginning once and the end. And then over 400 times Fatima. And then this miskin with, yani, this is the uqala. And then they say Wahhabi anthropomorphists. We, I'm going to show you who anthropomorphists are. We haven't even started with uh, Kamal Ziyarat, the other book of Iblis in Ali Iblis. But this, brothers and sisters, yani, this is, I have shown you now from Ayatollah Rouhani, this Ayatollah Hassan Abtahi, and this miskin, uh, newborn Muammam here, this uh, Sayyid Husseini, Ali Husseini, who calls himself Shubayri. You have seen uh, these people have absolutely no shame. As I said, in defense of many Shia laymen, because I've experienced, I've shown this to many Shia laymen. Most of them I've met, uh, when I mean, I mean most of them, those who are not too deep into the Zandaka. My experience is once a Shia passes the threshold of these Khurafat and Kufriyat, there's most of the time no hope. It's difficult. But those who still have khair in them, they reject it. Initially they reject it. Then they see it is in a book. Then they need some solution. And this is where Allah tested, will test them. And will test you, brothers and sisters. What are you going to choose? You as Ahl Sunnah, you have learned something new maybe. You have understood. A'udhu Billah. A'udhu Billah. Yani I seek refuge in Allah from this religion. I seek refuge in Allah from Mafatihul Jahim. The keys to the hellfire and to these lies that they have attributed to Ahl Bayt. Ahl Bayt, Ahl Bayt, loving Ahl Bayt, these people are the, are the farthest people away from Ahl Bayt. Alhamdulillah, I'm from Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah. Alhamdulillah for Quran, Tawheed and Sunnah. This is for you. And as for the Shia, a brother and sister who wants the truth, he can hate us, our channel. Um, as we said, we are not enemies to the layman, Shia layman, to their masses. We want the best for them in dunya and akhirah. We want the best for everybody. We are just presenting the truth for our own people, for Ahl Sunnah, to warn them, to show them what the reality of this matter is, what the real, what is behind this mask of loving and following Ahl Bayt. Behind this mask are these ugly khurafat. And I've only shown you one, one 
supplication to our prayer to Fatima from this book. Wait and see what else we're going to extract from this. This was the response to some of the polemicists. As I've mentioned earlier, the best thing we can expect is if one of them, uh, inshallah, responds, tries to refute. this. Uh, what did the Shubeli say? One last thing is very interesting, what he said on his page. I should read this. Um, he said, uh, what did he say? He said, Alhamdulillah, by the permission of Allah, I will be planning to speak on some topics and clear up doubts with n which no other Shia speaker has done in English. Oh, salawat. I will also present some hadith and research that no other Shia speaker has, speaker has done in English. There's so much we, le we lack. So keep me in your du'as that I get the opportunity. I believe it's important to look for gaps in the market rather than, um, and so on and so forth. So mashallah. Good. Alam wasalam. Tafadhal. Bifamoy. Come to the front. As I said, Wallahi al-Azim, anybody who dares to step forward and just attempt to justify this kufri prayer of seeking rescue and help from Fatima in sujood over 400 times, he has already lost. I mean, I go as far as to say most Sunnis, Ahl Sunnah, Ahl Ta'id anyway, but even a large portion of Shias, inshallah, if not the majority maybe, in their hearts will have khair and will will not buy you pathetic excuses and batil qiyas, batil analogies. They will not. So you're going to shoot in your own foot. But ahlu wa sahlan, we can't wait. Come forward, give response to this video, answer this video. Or if you don't want to mention us, just do us the favor. Yes, go and make videos defending sujood to Fatima and <laughs> sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad wa alihi. وصحبه اجمعين واخذ دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين